look at a, a thing of beauty. Yeah. So, uh, went to take the bike in today for its service. I was desperately trying to find excuses as to why I found it so hard yesterday. Went in there straight up, was like, look, I went for a big ride yesterday, James. Please, can you tell me if there's anything wrong with the bike? And he looked at the wheels. <laughs> My front tire was less than half full of air. And the rear tire was about three quarters full, so not as bad. <laughs> but still not as it should be. So I'm like, oh, so, um, you know, is uh, does tire pressure have anything to do with, you know, speed and how much effort you put in? And he literally gave me this look, which says it all, really. Um, turns out it does affect it hugely. Um, it's like cycling through sand, <laughs> which I've done. That happened, then left the bike with them. They're servicing it now. Got a call just a minute ago from the, the guy in Condor Cycles who's servicing it. Uh, and he was like, oh, by the way, your rear tire, it's, it's kind of completely squared off. The actual rubber on the tire has completely worn down. Uh, do you want a new tire? Because you need one. Two new wheels, new brake pads, new head joint bearing. Sorted all of the chain and the sprocket out so the discs and the, the gears aren't slipping. So now with my brand new bike, a route in North London where you start in Chingford uh, and you go through Epping Forest and it's about 27 miles, which will be interesting because that's longer than I've ever done in one leg. Chingford, what can I say about Chingford? It's very nice, it, it looks lovely, the people seem friendly. Also, at some point on the ride, I am going to shout out some of the thoughts for Sammy. I tweeted earlier today and I've had some tweets from people. When I'm feeling particularly tired, probably at about the 20 mile mark, um, I will start uh, reading some of them out and um, sharing them with, with you, Sammy. I'm going to... I'm not going to gear up because I've said that before and I'm not going to I'm not going to go there again. I'm not going to go there again. I'm going to get equipped and get on with the bike ride because it is whoo, 10 past 4 and I promise to make dinner for the flat tonight. There's no way that's happening. There is no way that's happening. Let's get cracking. So far so good. Feels like I'm flying along. Oh, that's a lorry. Woohoo! This bike feels amazing. I've forgotten my glasses. No. Oh well. There was a sign just there that said, free manure, please help yourself. Amazing. nearing the 20 mile mark. I've got about seven or eight miles to go. I thought I'd read out some of your thoughts for Sammy that you sent me on Twitter. So here goes. So Coco Lozano says, Sammy, don't let diabetes rule your life. You rule your diabetes. Ariana says, 
Never let diabetes stop you from doing anything. Seuss says, to quote a certain fish, just keep swimming, just keep swimming. I, I think that's how it goes. I'd love to swim in that cornfield right there. Yeah. Diane says, live each day to the fullest and nothing will stand in that little girl's way. That's you, Sammy. And True Liz says, live your life to the fullest potential and fight for your dreams. Let not diabetes stand in your way. So thank you so much to everyone for your thoughts for Sammy. They're lovely, I'm sure she'll really appreciate them. And uh, yeah, I will see you back in Chingfu in about seven miles time. Look at that forest. I am literally in a fairy tale. That was incredible. Uh, to be fair, it was like this the whole way. Up, down, up, down. Some really steep hills, then some really long downhills. It was just so beautiful. It was like I was the first person ever to discover nature. I, was, I felt like I was a creature in land before time. There were cornfields, there were like forests with sunlight, shafts of sunlight going through them. Everything, rivers, dells, little gullies. It was like I'd round a corner and there would just be the most beautiful vista in front of me. And it was great because that's probably the kind of roads that I'm going to be cycling on. God, I wish you could all see it. It was like, well, you can see it hopefully. Today was just amazing on the new wheels, new handlebar, new brake pads. They're not new, they're just fixed. Such a pleasure. And it's great, I'm going on holiday with Ellie in a couple of days, so this was the last ride I was gonna be able to do for the next sort of 10 days, two weeks. So it was great in the last couple of days to do some big long rides, get a feeling for what it will be like, what on one leg will be like on one of the days. <laughs> I'm feeling really positive and, and confident and basically just make sure your tires are pumped up, I think is the secret to life. So I'll leave you with that one. I guess I won't see you. I guess this is it until a couple of weeks uh, going on holiday. So bye for now and uh, love to everyone who's been watching and um, I'll see you all soon. Bye.